Well, hi there, I'm Noah Bradley. This is Handmade House TV, and today we're gonna to talk about using antique windows and doors in your new home. So stay tuned. Well, all right, on today's episode, I wanted to share with you uh, my answer to a question I received from one of you guys, and it was on uh, any thoughts I had on using antique windows and doors in the construction of our new home. Is that something that we should consider or not? Uh, actually, the question was, should we use antique windows uh, in our home? Uh, I added the doors to the question. That's because I thought the video would be incredibly short if I stopped with uh, the use of windows. Uh, so let's cover the doors, first of all. Uh, should you use antique doors in the construction of your new home? Absolutely. Uh, if you're only going to use one vintage salvaged piece of material in your home, it should be a door. Uh, anywhere in your home, use one antique door. Uh, they are they add so much to the home if you're going to build a boring home if you're going to build a brand new modern home if you put one antique door in that home i guarantee that that door would be the center of attention in the entire home uh, antique doors have so much character they're so cool um, and uh, they're really not that much more trouble to use than a modern door and sometimes frequently you can actually save money over the use of an antique door uh, the one drawback to antique doors is that they never quite function, they never quite seal uh, as well as new doors do they're, because they're made out of real wood uh, and they tend to have some character and determination. It never fails that, you know, perhaps there's a squeak in the hinge or perhaps they're a they stick a little bit or particularly on exterior doors. Uh, because of the constant changing of the environment outside from hot, steamy summer days to dry, uh, frigid, cold winter nights, uh, they tend to move more than modern manufactured prefab 16-layer uh, uh, engineered doors. Uh, so there's a little bit of fussing period with doors, a little bit of patience with, uh, with vintage doors that you don't get with new ones. Um, and uh, I tend to use them a lot. Uh, frequently on most of the cabins I build, I do handmade doors, um, and uh, it's, it's actually very rare that I will use a manufactured door on a log cabin. Uh, so con consider using antique doors. Go to your local um, salvage uh, material place and uh, do some shopping there and uh, pick up some doors. Typically on a, on a log cabin, the best doors are, are panel doors. Uh, just straight boards, top and bottom, with a batten or two on the back. Uh, please, no Z bracing. Um, and uh, for the rest of the doors, they tend to be more of a panel and frame door, whereas um, uh, the the door is built out with framing, uh, frequently divided up into smaller panels on the uh, on the on the top and bottom. And typically, a four panel is historically most accurate uh, type door to have. Um, so windows, uh, and you, whether or not use antique windows in your home, that was the original question. And finally, I'm to it. If you were to ask my wife, she would say adamantly never use antique windows in your home. She's not a fan of them at all. And that's because she's had to live with uh, some of the antique windows that I have used in the past. Antique windows, if you can get them old enough and in good shape, are beautiful. There's no question about them. They were made to be very attractive. They're made out of real wood. Uh, you can tell a quality one by looking for little pegs in all of the corners where they actually have joinery that holds them together and the peg to hold it in place. Um, and the glass is typically wavy or bubbly. Uh, they're actually, they're very beautiful, and there are some companies that specialize in restoring vintage antique windows and bringing them to newness, to to making them actually better than they were new uh, by installing uh, some new uh, 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 cutting edge uh, tracking and 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 sealers around the window, so that they operate well and that they look good. 
uh, my experience, my personal experience from it uh, is that individuals that, that restore windows to this cutting edge technology are not inexpensive. Uh, that you're, you might think you're saving money by buying vintage windows over new ones, but that's not the case. Uh, that they end up being uh, more expensive, definitely. I, I have gotten them and I've restored them myself or had my crew restore them. Uh, it's amazing how fast the meter runs when people are sitting there with a little, with a little uh, scraper and trying to scrape off the old uh, putty off of the windows or trying to get the old paint off of it or stripping down to the original paint or restoring it and then trying to put it on there with all of the more modern tracking and stuff. And uh, my, my experience has been that they've ended up costing me more than what new windows have. And they are, they are as temperamental as, as can be. They, they never seal really well. Uh, they tend to stick more often. Um, and that there are, there, are some, there are some of the modern window manufacturers who do a really nice job at creating historic lines of window construction, and they are they're they're almost as attractive, not quite as much, um, but boy, do they hold up better and a whole uh, save you money in the long run. So I guess I guess I'm not a big fan of antique windows. One one consideration that I could encourage you, if you want the the beauty of it, if you notice, I'm sitting here on a, on my porch. It's a screened-in porch. And uh, actually, the window behind me is, a, is an old window. It's, it's actually from the 1970s, uh, but it was handmade at that time. And I reuse them. And I, again, I sort of regret using them because they're so temperamental. If I had to do it all over again, I would have used new windows and I would have taken some, uh, at least one or two of panes of the glass, uh, used vintage uh, glass to put back into place, create a little bit of that bubbly feel. And it's amazing how just one or two panes of bubbly glass will make the entire window appear to be vintage and antique. Uh, and of course, another downside of using vintage windows is that they are single pane uh, instead of the double pane or triple pane high energy efficiency windows that we have nowadays. I can't say that I've ever really noticed a tremendous difference as far as cost savings. I'm sure that there must be, but I haven't as far as the lack of, they're, they're not as insulated as well as the new windows, but the difference between single pane and double pane is not phenomenal. Uh, it's not like it goes to a full house or something. There's still a lot of heat loss through windows, even with energy efficient windows. But one thing I have noticed is that single pane windows uh, aren't, aren't as sound uh, buffering as what double pane windows are. If you go in my house, some of the home, some of the rooms have double pane newer windows on them and some of the windows have clear glass and sound from the outside tends to travel through the house from the outside a lot more readily in single pane windows than in, than in insulated windows. So if you're going to get windows and you want to get new windows, I, I highly encourage you to to, to get premium new windows. Don't get junky ones. Don't get vinyl covered ones. Uh, don't get uh, ones with snap-in grills. Try to get ones with authentic grills where the individual panes are put in between each of the, the grills. So I think that about wraps up windows for today. Windows and doors. Use antique doors in your home wherever you possibly can. Uh, try not to use vintage windows. And uh, one, one more point I wanted to point out too, if you use windows in a room such as this on this porch, and if, the, if, the, um, if I were to finish off of this porch into an addition type room, it's amazing the, the beauty and charm of vintage windows in an application where the windows are actually on the inside, but it looks like you added an addition off of the home. And so the windows are protected. They're not really functional in any way other than being an aesthetic feature of the interior of your home. In which case, if you can find vintage antique windows for that, man, that's, it's, it's a really sweet element to have on the interior of a home. It 
allows light to move from room to room. It allows uh, visibility, people to be able to see each other through the vintage windows um, but uh, and appreciate the antiqueness of it. It really raises the level of beauty of your home um, for just the idea of having two antique windows. Anyway, uh, that's it. Okay, uh, thank you much for tuning in here at Handmade House TV. Come see us over at HandmadeHouses.com and consider signing up for uh, for some of my courses over some of the premium uh, uh, academy courses over there the the first course that I ever created was called the handmade house Academy and it's eight hours of me going through material just like I covered today uh, the all of the basics all of the things that you didn't consider in it and that course it was actually intended to be my one and only course it was meant to be if I could sit down with someone and explain in one conversation, one day's time, the essence of what I learned in building handmade houses for several decades, that's what that course is about. It's how I draw the plans. It's how I end up creating a beautiful home. Uh, it's all of the considerations. It's the steps that I go through in order to build a home. It's just a, an eight hour conversation is what it is. And, and uh, it's the essence of what I do and it's only available for individuals sign up for the handmade house guild and what the handmade house guild is a package where you sign up for it and you get access to everything i've ever created it's a all in one package with tremendous savings and that course handmade house is only available through the guild and it's sort of a it's a must be if you're interested in building a log cabin you can only sign up for the log cabin academy if you choose but there's so much more when you consider all of the other courses I do, and particularly the Handmade House Academy, where I'm introducing you to home construction, handmade house construction as a whole. And uh, it, some people say it's the best course I have, even though it was the first one, and it's a little bit rudimentary because it was a learning curve for me in order to how to create a video. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you so much for your support, and uh, we look forward to talking to you here next week on Handmade House TV. Until then, bye now.